I saw some people saying like I did this faster than them. I'm shocked because I went mega slow. Although I did do hard mode pretty fast. And I did the dresses pretty fast. Alright. I don't know how to do this right, well, so... Does this help? Does this work? Does this help make us not take damage? <laughs> trophy pops immediately. Oh, I tried to hit him on the way. Wow, that guy smacked into the wall without. Yeah, look where you're going, dude. So does it matter how much damage Wedge takes, or do I have to just have to not take damage myself? The sauce. The sauce. What do we do? Shut up, that's what you do. Watch out for the grenades. Wow, why are you so slow? Oh, that almost hit me. Alright, so so far so good. Heads up! Drones! Oh, okay. That works, I guess. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Nope, 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 nope. Zero damage so far. We're doing it. Soldier and Rue. HQ saying he has a few minutes out. Come. Did you see him? Who are you shooting? Your own robot? Alright, still zero damage. That's a nice soldier for you. Next to him, you look like kids on tracks. Kids on tracks. I'm not gonna be able to do Roche without taking damage, because I took a bunch of damage <laughs> last time I tried this. When we did it on hard, no, you like smash me up. Oh, our magical ride is almost at an end. Why are you talking like we're not here? Because you're not. Clearly we are. Oh. Not over yet. Clown! No, no, no.
Oh, I know all the damage in the Roche fight is avoidable, if you're good. Here, herein lies the problem. <laughs> I am not good at this. I am 7.7 .7 out of 10. Ah, I got him. You cross him, you die. Now, mind if I cut in? Woo! Splendid! I've been looking for a new dance partner. Grab it finally, huh? That's fine. I'll settle for a race then. Just me. Are you talking to me? I most certainly am. Then no. Uh, so terribly sorry. You would still speak. It seems a bit easier to dodge on easy. I don't know if this attack's actually different or what. Ow. Oh, there you go. I already missed. Already got hit. I probably should have slowed down for that. That would have helped dodge it. Can he not? Not bad. You have promise and an abiding affection for your mouth. But one cannot simply ride one fight. One cannot simply make a meme. One must unlock its true potential. Become one with the machine. Like this. Ow. <laughs> this part all you gotta do is break. I feel like that Not fight enough. took forever on hard. Don't be absurd. As if I could ever grow tired of your company. I don't know if I did more damage because we gained plus or what. Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our hands will never rest. Wait for me! It's either because I was on easy or because New Game Plus, but yeah, that fight went a lot quicker. Come on, let's push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Huh? <laughs> well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. Yeah, you could probably skip this cutscene, but I figured I wouldn't just in case. Because I'm pretty sure this cutscene and the next one are separate cutscenes. Go team! Don't get too excited. Reinforcements are hot on our trail. Yeah. You passed the test. You passed the test. What test? Driving. There it is. Been driving for years. So you don't need a reward? No. What's the song? Did they play the song in the other cutscene? Why is he so shocked from a kiss on the cheek? You can thank me later. I'll wait. Hey, thanks for the 300 bits, TV. Giving me the cold shoulder? No, I'm giving you the spiky bolt look shoulder. Look at that. It's the end of the ride. Thank you, 100 bits, Polo. Thanks for the congrats, guys.
Let's check her out. That's a pretty one. Master of Fate. In general, I like the the pictures on the trophies. They're pretty cool. This one is Sephiroth's face, and there's a Marlboro one. Pretty cool. All right, let's move over to the trophy list. We need to add a cell because <laughs> this was not part of our trophy quest. We just got it because we played the game. This was the Final Fantasy VII Remake in all capitals because that's the way Square puts it on everything. <laughs> uh, this was... I guess I'll just put my name because we just played it. Uh, full run on stream, yes. Alright, so first of all, before we get into the actual... Uh, review of the, the Platinum. I do want to say that this Platinum is a really nice change of pace for Square Enix. Almost every Square Enix Platinum I've seen is atrocious from uh, either being way too simple and stupid like Final Fantasy VII's was to being monotonous and terrible like the Final Fantasy VIII Platinum to completely ridiculous like the Final Fantasy IX Platinum to uh, having to tape my analog stick or rubber band my analog stick for 20 hours for Final Fantasy 15. I mean, I, I pretty much have not played a single Square Enix game that had a trophy list that was even passable. Uh, <laughs> they're all terrible. Um, but having said that, this one was decent. It was actually uh, like something that I did not hate. It was fun and easy and completable and nothing completely disastrous. So I have to give credit where credit is due. It's not a disaster. Congrats, Square Enix. You finally figured out how to make trophy lists. Uh, now, in terms of the actual uh, ratings. So the difficulty. I think the difficulty of this Platinum was pretty good. Um, it's nothing super special. But in general... You have to do the hard mode. You have to do the post-game super boss gauntlet. Um, you don't have to get 100%, but you do have to get, you know, most of the collectibles and what matters. Uh, like all the weapon abilities and intel reports and all that. Um, so overall, fairly decent. Not, like, insanely hard, but not super easy either. I would say probably the hardest trophy is either the super bosses... Or the pull-up trophy, because a lot of people have issues with the pull-up trophy. Uh, it's actually only 18.8% rare. I'm guessing the super... Yeah, this is 3.7 and 3.0, so... It looks like it's saying that beating everything on hard is the hardest, but I'm actually shocked that this one's less... Maybe more people just did this because it was more fun. Maybe not everyone went through the whole game on hard, so... Um, but yeah, I would say it's fairly decent. Not incredibly hard, but fairly decent. Um, my mind is putting it at like a 7 or an 8. So I feel like 7.5 is probably reasonable. Because there's nothing in the list that's like, oh my god, you know, that's going to be hard. And, you know, even the hard gauntlet, if you grind enough, like, you'll be fine. So I think 7.5 is reasonable. Uh, okay, so now fun. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to give this game too good of a fun rating. I'm honestly thinking about a 7 as well. The reason being, there's nothing special about this trophy list. Once again, credit where credit is due. It's not terrible. It's not god-awful. It's not Final Fantasy IX level, okay? But at the same time, there's no special trophies at all. It is all stuff that the game already tracks. Um, I much prefer when trophy lists give you some kind of extra incentive to get them. That's the whole point of a trophy list, in my opinion, is to add more fun to your experience. 
And this trophy list does not do that. Uh, there is nothing here that you're going to look at and be like, Oh, I never thought of doing that, but I'll do it now. Um, yeah, and just, just to be... Uh, just to be clear, because I know a lot of people here are new to Trophy Quest, they've never seen it before. Um, the way that we rate fun has nothing to do with the game. It has nothing to do with how fun Final Fantasy VII Remake is. The point of the fun section is how much more does the Trophy Quest, the trophy list add to the video game? How does the trophies make the game more fun? For example, uh, to give you an example, I gave um, uh, Shovel Knight. I gave a 10 out of 10 for fun rating. The reason I did that was because once you beat the game, there's not a, a ton of post-game content to do in Shovel Knight, uh, at least the original game, not including the DLCs, but the trophy list gives you all this really cool post-game stuff to try. There's a speedrun trophy, there's a challenge run trophy, there's all this different incentive for you to go back and play the game more, whereas if the trophy list didn't exist, you wouldn't have that same incentive. So it's not it, the fun rating doesn't have anything to do with the actual game it is everything to, it has everything to do with what the trophy list adds to the experience so having said that this trophy list does not add to the experience at all um it's simply stuff that you would have already done had you played the game however there's nothing that hinders either uh there's nothing here that's like collect every music disc on one run or stand in the spot for 20 minutes for no reason like you know some of the horrible trophies we've seen in the past so uh i think it's fairly decent my only complaint with this trophy list is the uh dresses trophy where is it uh this one so this trophy is for getting all of the different dress outfits i'm okay with a trophy like this but here's the issue I don't know why this is a trophy, but like none of the other post-game collectible things are a trophy. There's like the music discs and stuff, but none of like the um, the other like you don't get a trophy for doing the three different outcomes of chapter 14. It's only this one, and this one's incredibly boring to do because you just have to play the same chapters over again, uh, but pick different things. So. Oh yeah, yeah, and you don't get one for like enemy intel either. So like, the only one they picked, other than the stuff that you can get in a in a first playthrough, is the dress one, which is like the most boring one. So I don't really understand. I would have rathered them just have a hundred percent trophy, like just have a gold hundred percent trophy that's just finish everything. That would have been better than this. This is just like, go do this boring thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't particularly like this trophy it's nice that you get to see all the different dresses but still like this isn't the best choice i would have rather them just done a gold 100 percent trophy or just leave this trophy out completely and just say if you want to see the dresses do it on your own time but you don't need to do it for the trophies um so didn't prefer this one this one was really boring to get and also i could have gotten the platinum in like five less hours had i not had to painstakingly play chapters 7, 8, and 14 again, or whatever the chapters were that I had to play. Uh, or it was, like, it was like 3, 7, and 8. If I didn't have to play those three chapters like three times, uh, I would have gotten the trophies a lot faster. So this trophy's not the best. But other than that, the trophy list was good. Um, I think we're going to give it a 7. I think that's reasonable. Nothing extra that makes it good, but nothing terrible that makes it terrible. Uh, the trophies did not glitch. And our final time. Luckily, this one is really easy to uh, to do because it was all on one file because of New Game Plus. Was actually I don't have to look at that. I can just look at the bottom. Ninety six twenty five. We've probably been sitting here for a few minutes. So ninety six twenty four. Look at that. Almost exactly 10 more minutes than uh, Neo. <laughs> and we'll do the link later. And that is it. That is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Platinum. It was fun. It was good. It was not terrible. It's a Square Enix game without a terrible trophy list. 10 of 10 recommend.